First, you have to properly prepare the cables. To prepare the cable, first position cables and then cut so the conductor ends overlap. Then slide the copper shielding sleeve over one of the cables. Now it's time to connect the conductors. To connect the conductors, you have to first match conductor phases properly and place either insulated or non-insulated connectors and crimp them with the proper tool. Then you need to insulate the connectors. Once all the connectors are insulated and sealed, you need to bring the conductors together to form a bundle. After you've insulated the connectors, you have to join the ground wires. Make sure you're using a proper sized connector and crimping tool or die. Stretch the mastic tape to three-fourths of its original width when applying. Now you need to connect the copper shield sleeve. Measure the diameter of the armor and make sure that the measurement fits the range in the table. Make sure to cut off or tape down the excess sleeve. Before installing the sleeve, make sure to choose the proper springs for your application. Finally, you have to install the jacket. At both ends of the splice, apply two half-lapped layers of Scotch rubber mastic tape 2228 around the cable jacket, making sure the tape extends two inches over the jacket. For additional mechanical protection or direct buried applications, overwrap the entire splice with 3M sheath wrap roll. Make sure when you're applying the sheath wrap, you're doing it with two half lap layers. After you've finished applying the sheath wrap, wrap the end with Scotch professional grade vinyl electrical tape Super 88. And that's how you install a 3M low voltage inline TS splice kit for armored cables.